Welcome, my name's Anthony Haynes, I'm Creative Director at Frontinus Limited and this is the third and final instalment of a series of three videos on research communication and I have the pleasure again of interviewing Hannah Lee who's, post, uh, who's a doctoral researcher I should say at Heriot Watt University, so welcome Hannah. Hello, nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> so we've talked about um, what you're researching and we've discussed how you've gone about communicating that research. Now, at the end of the day, to get your doctorate, you have to submit a written thesis. So uh, what I'm wondering there is, what's the relationship between the, the, all these uh, communication activities and the document that you submit at the end? Yeah, so that's something I'm definitely in, within the next kind of several months, <laughs> making a lot more headway on. Um, in terms of actually within my thesis, I'm thinking of integrating into either the discussion um, conclusion section of each chapter uh, infographics or a way that you could communicate and engage uh, based on stuff that I've done um, with people about the research that's specifically in that chapter because then that would be quite specific to each research chapter. Alternately, a dedicated chapter that actually talks about uh, the communication how it's like engaging and putting the information out there um, and also again integrating potentially infographics uh, this is something that i've been looking into a little bit more recently because there's great tools online um, to actually you can either make them yourself uh, using for example like illustrator or other kind of services or things like canva which is an online tool um, and there's loads of them out there of other other variations that you can build infographics and you just put in the data and information you want and maybe the images that you want and you can build up this really nice looking leaflet that you could print um, or even a poster and maybe to think about including something like that as in part of a dedicated either chapter or discussion or appendices and this is things that I've discussed with my supervisors as well yes yeah um, because I they know that I'm quite engaged with science communication and mm. looking looking towards always integrating that into my future career is to actually be able to demonstrate that um, in the same way that some people might think about releasing a teaching paper yeah. during their thesis yes. if they're really keen on teaching. Uh, it's again having a dedicated section that's about engaging uh, citizen science or just science mm. communication in general to demonstrate and to show that work and how it can be communicated to a non-specific audience um, or a specific not general audience. <laughs> I'm fascinated by that because I think increasingly scientific researchers in research institutions and universities are encouraged to think about dissemination and particularly impact, how their research might have an impact beyond the world of scholarly or scientific research. And what I like about what you're saying is it is presenting, it's presenting this as an integrated entity rather than thinking, well, you do the research, that's what really matters. And by the way, you can also then do some communication of it. So. Yeah, I think maybe when I first kind of was planning my thesis out in my head, right at the start, I'd not thought, oh, I can integrate communication and science mm. communication mm. and infographics and things like that. And it actually makes it a lot more engaging for the reader as well, I think, is that an integrated approach or depending on the format of what you're doing, quite a variation of work in there. Um, at the moment, I've, well, we've got a paper that's about to be published, so it's in press at the moment. So that's chapter one of my thesis. And ideally, I would love, because we're able to submit by publication, to have the published ah. chapter. Um, yeah, so that's something that's developing. Um, and there's a few people within our research um, school that have done it so far, so in the Institute, uh, to actually submit using published and unpublished, so you can do a mix. Yes. Um, and then within those chapters, like I said, maybe having the infographics, so it's like an accompanying digestible, this is almost a summary of this whole chapter um, in a communication point of view. As maybe what I've got in my head at the moment, but I'm sure that will change uh, within the next year. It's less than a year now till I have my thesis in. <laughs> oh, but that's excellent. Well, I can say to you something that I honestly don't say all that often, which is I would look forward to reading the thesis <laughs> 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 when it's written. So, Hannah, thank you very much. You've been uh, very forthcoming in, in terms of giving us a real window, not only into your research, but also the communication aspects of it. Um, so thank you. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.